This is question 7 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we're given the equation x cubed plus 2x equals 26 and it has a solution between 2 and 3. Use a trial and improvement method to find this solution. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. You must show all of your work in. Now this last sentence here is really really important. If you show none of your work in but you get the correct answer you get zero marks. So let's set this out nice neatly and correctly so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a table like I've drawn here and in this column here I'm going to have X then in the middle I'm going to have my working and then at the end I'm going to have a comment so it's told me that the solution is between 2 and 3 and so my answer for X is going to be somewhere between 2 and 3 and I'm trying to figure out what answer is best to give that gives an answer as close as possible to 26. So let's try 2 and all I'm going to do with 2 is I'm just going to substitute it into this equation. So replacing the x with 2 that gives me 2 cubed plus and then you can see here it's 2x. Now 2x just means two lots of x so that means I'm going to be having two lots of x, my x, my number for x is going to be 2, so it's 2 lots of 2 and what's that going to give me? Well 2 cubed is 8 plus 2 times 2 that's going to give me 12 and my comment here is that that answer there is too small I'm trying to have it equal 26 equals 12 at this point it's too small at the moment so let's try 3 instead I've got 3 cubed plus and then again just substituting this 3 in 2 times 3 2 lots of 3 and that's going to give me 3 cubed is 27 plus 6 that's going to give me 33 so we can see there that that is too big so what I can do now is I can start thinking carefully about what my answer might be well I can see 26 that's fairly close to 33 actually so I'm not going to I'm going to try a different number I'm going to try a number that's quite close to 3 um, but but isn't too too far away. So I'm going to try two point. I'm going to start with trying two point seven. So let's see what two point seven gets me. So two point seven cubed. Again, just substituting the value in to the equation. Two point seven cubed plus two times two point seven. And for this one, I'm going to need to use my calculator. Uh, so 2.7 cubed, 2.7 cubed, plus uh, 2 times 2.7, uh, 2 times 2.7, just plugging that into my calculator, what comes out? 25.083, 25.083, so I can see 25.083, I'm trying to get an answer of 26, that is still too small. So the most logical thing to do, let's try the next number up. So let's try 2.8. Put in 2.83 into the formula just as we have been doing so far. Let's see what that gets me. So what does that get me? Just putting that into this formula. So I'm just going to edit what I did a minute ago and change 2.7 to 2.8. what does that give me an answer of? It gives me 27.552 27.552 now I can see that that there is too big so my answer is going to be one of these two numbers okay my answer is going to be one of these two numbers simply because and the reason it's going to be is because I need to give my answer correct to one decimal place so because it's one decimal place, I'm not going to give an answer of 2.77 or anything like that. It needs to be an answer of 2 point something. So my answer is going to be either 2.7 or 2.8. Now to make a decision about which of these numbers I'm going to choose, I need to show it mathematically which one I'm going to choose. So I'm going to choose the number that was halfway in between. And we'll take a look at why this is in just a moment. But if we figure out what this is first, and then see what we can kind of infer. Let's 
a bit messy. Um, see what we can infer from our answer to this. So what is our answer for this one? Again, just substituting 2.75 in this time. So I'm just going to edit what I put into my calculator and change the 2.8 to 2.75. Oh dear. Um, and what answer does that give me? It gives me an answer of 26.296875. Twenty six point I've forgotten it already. Uh two nine six eight seven five. Two nine six eight seven five. Run out of space a little bit. So two nine six eight seven five. And now let's take a look at that answer. That answer there is too big as well. So why have I done this? You may be thinking, well, if my answer is going to be one of these two, why am I bothering to work this one out as well? Well, the reason for this is because it helps me decide which one of these to choose. Now, if I draw a little number line here and I say that at one end I've got 2.7, at the other end I've got 2.8. I know that 2.7 is too small. I know that 2.8 is too big. And now I also know that the number halfway along, 2.75, that number is also too big. So what does that tell me? Well, that tells me, quite simply, that my answer must be somewhere in between 2.7 and 2.75. The correct answer, the exact answer, which could be 2. Point, you know. 2.738654 um, but we don't need to give it we don't need to be that accurate our answer is going to be somewhere in between these two so that means that my answer is closer to 2.7 than it is to 2.8 so I'm going to choose 2.7 so my final answer here will be x is equal to 2.7 okay if you got that incorrect or you dropped marks, oh, let's just quickly talk about where you get your marks. So for this here, we get one mark. For this part here, for evaluating correctly an answer between 2.7 and 2.8, we get one mark. For choosing the number halfway in between, we get one mark. And then we get one mark for our answer. So four distinct marks there. What I would like you to do, if you got it wrong, is to pause the video now and attempt the question here. I'm going to go through this very quickly. Um, so attempt the question and then see if you get it right. Okay. <clears throat> so the equation x cubed minus 3x equals 14 has solution between 2 and 3. So again, just setting up my table like I did earlier. I have x work in and then comment at the end. And then I'm going to try 2 and I'm going to try 3 and I'm not going to bother writing in my work in here or I will for the first one but then after that I'm just going to um, work out the answers so I'm going to have 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 that's going to give me an answer of uh, 2 so 2 cubed is 8 minus 3 times 2 is 6 so 8 minus 6 is 2 then I've got 3 cubed minus uh, 3 times 3, that's going to give me an answer of 18. So my comment here would be too small. My comment here would be too big. And so what I would now do is I might choose a number, say 2.8. And 2.8, I've already worked this out beforehand, that's going to give me an answer of 13 point five five. 2, 2.9 then, so then I would try 2.9, 13.552, that's smaller than 14, so I'm going to have to figure out what 2.9 is when I input it into this equation, 2.9 would give me 15.689, so that, um, so this one was too small, this one was too big, so then I would then choose the number that's halfway in between these, so 2.85. 2.85 gave me, and I rounded this one, 2.85 gave me 14.599 uh, to three decimal places. 
and so that means that is too big as well because 14.599 is larger than 14 so that's too big as well so which of the two numbers am I going to choose? Am I going to choose 2.8 or 2.9? I'm going to choose 2.8 because 2.85 was too big 2.9 was too big which means it must be somewhere in between 2.85 and 2.8 I only need to give my answer at one decimal place and so my final answer is going to be 2.8